are a group of community organizations that wanted to really activate the open street here on West End Avenue. This is an open street for community and we're excited to be out here talking to people about our ideas, um, have dance performances, a lot of art. We even have an open classroom going on on the open street. If you have been on West End Avenue before, as it's been an open street, it was nice. People were walking on it, biking it, using it, but it wasn't so exciting. There, it was kind of feeling a little empty. So we've just activated it with all this really fun stuff. It's really important to have public green spaces on every block, in every neighborhood, in every community for the quality of life and also for the health and wellness of all the people that live around the neighborhood. Open Streets does that. It, it brings the community out, brings us together talking and enjoying what the city has to offer, streets for other purposes besides cars. meet our neighbors and where we can form community and we need to completely reimagine our streetscape so that it's a place that people will want to come to and where we can gather where we can have performance and where we can celebrate with culture and all of the things that make this city really great we're in a pandemic right now and we just you know the mayor just delayed school again we're afraid that it's not safe to go into our classrooms and be crowded inside so we have so much open space, we should be using it to educate our kids, especially while the weather is still good. I've heard kids come over and say, oh my gosh, there's a bench, there's trees, there's green, there's grass over here, let's go color on the grass. If they're learning outdoors, they're getting fresh air, it's a safer environment, it promotes better uh, attention spans, and they'll be able to learn a lot more if they're out in an outdoor space. called Plastic Harvest, which is really addressing the issue of plastic pollution and the fact that we're literally drowning in plastic and we ingest, you know, extreme uh, quantities of it and it's in our oceans and on our streets and it will never go away. And so we're making a piece today that is where all the costumes were made from reclaimed plastic bags. Bike boulevards uh, give uh, bicyclists a priority instead of cars. There might be signage, you know, upright signage that might say bike boulevard or it could even say cars or guests. Bikes usually get to go straight, uh, have their own lanes both ways if it's two way. Cars have to usually snake around, lowering speed and um, lowering volume of cars to do traffic calming. It could be anything from barriers like these to uh, bollards to paint on the ground or even to chicanes. We should be trying anything that uh, incentivizes people to ride bikes and uh, try a climate-friendly uh, form of transportation. Mm -hmm. 